Well, I appreciate uh, having a chance to talk with all of you in a, in a quick fashion. Um, I'm going to very quickly go over some of the social science data collection infrastructure that's been built at the University of Oklahoma. Um, the social side of water is part of a, a system. Um, and it, treating it in isolation from what's going on in broader weather and climate and, uh, uh, and the uh, water infrastructure and all the rest of it is really uh, kind of a, a fruitless task. So what we've tried to do is build data collection that in fact allows us to look at a system level take on the way people perceive what's going on in the water world, how that shapes their belief systems, um, what that does to their behaviors and how that feeds back into those um, broader um, aspects of the water system. Uh, we've done this through a thing we call the MSysNet, um, which is a mesoscale integrated uh, socio-geographic network. Um, so it basically overlays a panel of households in Oklahoma on top of the mesonet. The mesonet, of course, is a very dense um, system of weather uh, monitoring stations that exist in Oklahoma. That's the red dots on the map. Um, those stations have about 20 years of history collected at five minute intervals over a huge array of different aspects of, uh, of changing weather and climate patterns. The blue dots are the households that are in the MSysNet. Each one of those households reports to us on a quarterly basis what's happened to them over the last season um, and their behavioral responses to it, how they make sense of it. Um, and so what we're trying to do is integrate two very different data uh, uh, streams in order to understand the, the, the social dynamics that are associated with changing weather patterns, particularly as they bear on water. Um, Here is a, uh, just a brief overview. So these are two different seasons. Um, uh, this is uh, the top panel is the spring of 2015. Um, we measured the way people perceived precipitation changing in their area, and I've broken it down here into those who saw less, the same, and more. And comparing that to the actual preci uh, precipitation as measured by the mesonet for that same period of time, and you can see people do get it. Um, they're able to detect what it is that's going on around them, and it's kind of interesting when you look at the different sorts of people who are in these households, those who work outside, um, those who have more in in intimate connections to agriculture or um, outdoor recreational stuff are really precise in their capacity to understand what it is that's going on. Folks who work in an office um, or who rarely get outside are, are a bit fuzzier on that process. So looking at, at how measurement works, it's a little bit like tuning your weather monitoring station. You're looking for those, um, those household monitors that in fact are really good at picking up what's going on. The bottom panel is fall of 2017 when we had a, a much lower precipitation rate. And again, you can see that households picked that up. Um, if you aggregate these over time, what I'm showing you here um, are the precipitation and temperature anomalies at each one of the households that we looked at. So these top slides um, are showing um, the mean temperature change or precipitation change around uh, the long-term normal. Same thing for temperature over here. Um, and the gray lines behind it are each one of our households. Right? So there's variation in what people experienced. What you're seeing there are the averages. The bottom two panels are showing what the households reported to us about those changes. Um, and it's um, one of the challenges in all of this is understanding the degree to which people actually apprehend the system within which they're operating. And they pick it up reasonably well. The mean changes follow um, the patterns that are observed in actual weather. And this is kind of important. If you think back to that little graphic I showed you, we're wanting to look at how system inputs to households affect perceptions, beliefs, and behaviors. Well, if they don't perceive it, you're not going to get much of a behavioral response to changing system dynamics. The, one of the things that we track over time are the way people understand the threat to water supplies over time. These are two tracks looking at um, people's response to the, to the question, are there going to be adequate supplies of water in your region for uh, the needs of your community and for the needs of farmers and ranchers? over the next 25 year span and they fluctuate. These trends are driven um, in large part by people's perceptions of the variations in, um, in precipitation in their region over time. Um, we also ask questions about what they're doing about it. Um, so we measure in each quarter what measures households are taking to deal with 
um, with water in a whole variety of ways. We measure their water bill. We know how much they're paying for it, what the sources are, um, et cetera. And so we collect quite a bit of data on the behavioral responses that are taking place um, over time to those um, shocks to these, these households. Again, what we're after is the ability to make these linkages. Um, so when we're talking about how do you build infrastructure, how do you get public support for various kinds of programs, if you don't have the data that look at how households are responding and how um, they're actually coming up with their understanding of what that system is doing and what justifies um, collective action, um, you need a system like this um, in order to, to carry that out. All of these data are online. Every quarter we post it. Um, the, uh, Questionnaires are searchable so that you can get in there and, uh, and find the things that might be of relevance to your project. That's the URL that you would go to to collect those data. We now have five years of data. We're getting ready to, we've got bridge funding from the National Science Foundation to continue this for another round. Um, so that's it. That's what we're doing. That's some of the infrastructure for data collection that, uh, that we have in place. <laughs>